we have to make sure uh, that we don't use the technique of a pianist and play by pressing a button. Sure, we're going to press the button, but we should be very much aware of what we pitches that we send in, and it must at the right length that it can resonate and amplify the vibratory rate that we're sending in. In other words, our brains have to work very much like a singer's brain, and instead of thinking of this like a wooden reed, to me it's like a set of vocal cords. Instead of voice here, we use it as vocal cords up here for the instrument. But all the refinements of uh, tone production and the ability to change sounds and pitch, just like the voice. Most of it without even a feedback phenomena. Some of it we can feel. You start getting into the large uh, pitch changes. But if I go to um, uh, a step, and tuba is like a bass fiddle in terms of size compared to a violin or a trumpet. If you're standing next to me, you'll hardly see a change in the lip. But it's changing in pitch because I'm singing it. All I do is change in the brain. If you're trying to change it in the lip, you're going to get into trouble. If you change it in the brain, it will change in the lip, but the, uh, everything would have to be viewed through a microscope to find out what's happening. So the whole point is simply, you have to become a singer in your brain.